Good morning. It's another sunny day here in Canada. We've had some interesting readings um, the last few days. They seem to be following kind of a storyline. Um, and so, I mean, I, in one way I'm tempted, you know, there's been a storyline of three people, of, of the divine masculine, of a man, of a masculine energy, and the person that he has been living with as a life partner, you know, whether married or, you know, together as a family, and then a person that who has come in who is the soulmate, which sets up uh, heartache on all sides <laughs> uh, and confusion on all sides. Oh, I'm just, I mean, I'm just shuffling now, but that come out as promise. Oh, Spirit says to take it. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, I mean, the masculine, you know, his, this woman here, or this, to me it's a woman. But his partner that he, that he has children with. That could be a feminine energy too. Um, they they've just grown apart, right? Maybe married young, maybe got together young, maybe got together for not necessarily the right reasons. Spirit is telling me that this masculine and this feminine, it wasn't about being passionately in love. It was about you know it's time to grow up and we need to do the right thing. Kind of thing, but I mean, she's she has security in this, and um, and in her mind, she's like, but I've given up a lot for for you, for the masculine. She knows that there's something not right. Okay, um, you know, and then this woman that's a soulmate, she's a, also a good woman. She's not interested in breaking up a family. If this masculine came to her free, then she that would be a dream come true. But she's kind of given up hope on that. The life partner is, is trying to make this work. But what the card said yesterday was that this life partner, the mother, the mother, um, the other parent of the children has given up a lot for this relationship too. Um, and if, if, if these two can release each other, it's for the betterment, not just of the masculine, but of the feminine as well, because there are, the world card showed up for this feminine, but she doesn't, she can't have the world with a man who, who doesn't fully love her anymore. And, you know, like I said yesterday, none of us wants to be with um, uh, somebody who doesn't love us. Um, I'm going to shuffle as I'm talking now because I want to see what's going to come out. And so I'm tempted to do a reading on just the divine masculine or just on what we call the divine feminine or the soulmate. And or just on, you know, this life partner, which some people call the karmic. I don't really like labels, right? Like... This is just, this is three people, and they're good, they're three good people. They are. Um, you know, lots of times people will think of this person as the other woman. She's done nothing wrong, right? Even if they have had episodes together, she's pulled back. You know, and he is not wanting to hurt hurt this person, right? So there's, everybody's like in, in this tangle, right? <clears throat> Um, and what's the hold up is that there is that they are all good people and nobody wants to break it off. Nobody wants to hurt, have anybody hurt. Um, so what's going on in the collective today? We already had a card pop out that says promise. Let's, you know, and I, I'm tempted to ask what's going on with these three people, but maybe something completely different will come out. So we'll see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, Spirit just said this is promise. This is this is the masculine. Um, he's made promises to his soulmate. 
to this new woman, this third woman. Right? But he's also made promises to the woman he's made a life with. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get some clarification on that promise. What's going on in the collective? Oh, and celebration popped out. Oh, that's interesting. So we have promise and we have celebration. The sun is really bright. If that's going to be a problem, I think I might just close the curtain here a little bit. Let me just see here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's going to help. Um, it seems so gloomy now, but I love the sun. <laughs> I love the sun. I, I, what's, I'm just going to ask for one more. Oh, that one. Instinct. I promise. I'm going to do this. This. I'm going to just put, put them in order. And strength. Interesting. That doesn't actually tell me... <laughs> a whole lot. I'm just going to quick look into into New Moon because that's the one that came flying out. This is a time to launch a project, a new relationship, or renew something that's been put aside. With your intention and willingness to allow a full cycle to complete itself, that which you desire will manifest. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, this is talking about karm the karmic. Increasingly, he's moving. I mean, right now they're not realizing that him moving to his soulmate is, I mean, it's going to cause some pain. But just like we call a tower card, it'll be interesting to see if the tower card comes out today. It came out yesterday. Did it come out yesterday? Yeah, it came out yesterday. Um, because sometimes the foundation isn't strong it, and it it needs to... Um, be rebuilt into so one tower has been t kind of wobbling and it's been patched together and held together but what needs to happen is that it needs to come crumbling down and from it three beautiful gardens can grow okay you know so Yeah, we're looking, at, I mean, it says it's, we're looking at celebration. I'm just going to pull out a couple of these romance angel cards. Let's see what's going on in the collective. Whoa, release your ex. Comes flying out. The time has come to clear your energy. What's going on with the collective? I mean, I feel that the person I'm channeling for is actually the masculine, right? I mean, it's actually the masculine and, and his life partner, his the, the, the mother of his children. The soulmate is coming through, but because she's the issue, right? So she's... I mean, a, a person doesn't fall in love with somebody else if their relationship is good. It just doesn't happen, right? I mean, it, there's been a sense in that relationship that there's always been something missing. Even if it's good, it just seems like it's good, right? And and everything's good. And what's... No. Um, <laughs> come on, what's going on in the collective? I'm going to do three more, and that might be just it. To release your ex is kind of the overall thing. One. Two. You deserve love was on the bottom. Showed itself to me. Three. I'm just going to to do one more. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so this is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So to me, this is for the what is often called the karmic, but for the divine masculine's current partner.
See here, she is, it's like she's begging him. Please don't go. Right? And he's got his hand on her head. Um, it's like he's trying to comfort her. Like they're there. But the look on his face is... Losing in like uh, impatience, right? And there's angels intervening. So to me, you know what? The longer you live in in one of these relationships, it's come in. It's come to nothing. Like if you're like when one partner has disengaged, and I'm actually seeing that a lot in 2020 this year is a lot of men. They're good men. They want to be good men. They don't want to leave their families, right? But they've completely become disengaged. Um, they work hard. You know. They come home. The life partner is often critical. Because she's gotten so caught up in their day to day. You know, why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? And he's just butt ass tired from his day. In the in the background, he has fallen. He's found his soulmate. He may have first and caught like met her years ago, but he's just kind of never kept it. You know, just kept that kind of to himself as a secret, thinking of him of her as a secret crush or whatever. But that's kind of come more into the foreground. This is the guy that comes home from work. He eats his supper and he sits down and watches TV or starts playing on his phone increasingly his partner can feel him like he's already left in his mind right and and like the reading from yesterday is like i'm going to make this work i'm going to let's tell talk to each other about our feelings or whatever but he's already kind of done so this it says forgiving and learning to me this is a message for the karmic for the for the current life partner the time has come to clear your energy, to release and heal the past so that you can experience more love in your present moments. To me, this life partner, if she can let go of this that isn't working, I mean, to move into the five-dimensional world and understand that there may be a whole new life for her. Um... But there might be a whole life for her. Now, the Tattoo Tarot cards isn't something I would normally use for this kind of reading. And yet, Spirit really said, nope, Pixie is one's up. So what's going on in the collective? What's going on in the collective? Whoa. <laughs> what's this? Ten of Swords. We're done. We're done the cycle. This is like everything, and for all three people involved in this, but this woman here, I'm thinking we're picking up this woman or this this feminine energy. <clears throat> okay, see my throat chakra is closing off. This woman has so much to say, and she does. Oh, spirits, all three of them. There's so much to no, yeah, all three of them. There's so much to say, but nobody is saying anything. But it's an awful limbo. It's an awful limbo. It's time to release people that need to be released. Because we don't want to live with somebody that we've created a prison for them. Even if we have children, there's this misconception that our children need to have their parents, their biological parents together. Children don't need to see people completely disengaged. That teaches all sorts of poor lessons I feel so we have the ten of swords and the moon on the bottom of the deck oh it says take it um, often spirit has me take the bottom of the deck but this is the moon is powerful female energy like I was saying before in um we're in Canada, and we we 
My son is First Nations. I've spent a lot of my life with First Nations. This card actually has a very strong First Nations kind of look to it. Oh, they just told me to go to check into this wolf card. Um, the moon card tradition can be that there's things that going on that other people don't see, which is true, right? Nobody's really cheating or lying here. If anything, there's deception, but there's people are deceiving themselves. You see, it looks like there's two towers there. These are the two women. Okay. Um, so the moon sign, moon is women power. But in, in tarot, it's also, it, it is, um, there's things hidden that you can't see yet. It also sometimes tells, talks to me of, um, talks to me of, uh, that you're just, you're looking at the little picture. You're not looking at the big picture. So you're looking at the reflection of the moon in the water. But you're not looking up at the moon that's illuminating the whole world. And to me, that really speaks of, of this person that is trying to hold on to a relationship with somebody who has already left her in his mind. He's just there physically. What's this card? Okay. Um, okay. So what else is going on here? Whoop. That one popped up, it went back in, so I'm not going to pursue it. These cards are a little big for my hands, but... All right, so what else is going on? I'm going to say for the karmic, for the, for this life partner. Oh, just wait. Spirit again sent to, to look up, to check into what this card is saying. Wolf. Okay. Wind, wolf. Oh. Okay, I really think that this is for this, um, the masculine's current partner. You have lost touch with your instinctual sensitivities. It's the result of cultural or religious prescriptions dictating that anything wild and instinctual is threatening and therefore has to be controlled or eliminated. Now is the time to overcome your limited mindset and tune into your instinct actual cues shed your inhibitions with the only guideline being do no harm experiment by getting out of the straitjacket of your societal norms and listening to those sensations in your gut that are trying to give you a message it may be a warning or an urging to take action of some sort. Take some deep breaths and notice your body sensations, what your body is telling you. Your mind will be the receiver of that information and your body and mind can work, learn to work more closely with each other. So this is definitely going towards this woman here. So if I, you know, like it's been my intention to do a reading for the karmic, right? This, this partner, this to me, isn't a bad person. Sometimes she maybe has been behaving um, in an irritating way because she's afraid, right? Like she's built her life on, uh, you know, she, she has sacrificed maybe her, who she's been to be a wife and a mother, um, and it's not working, and it doesn't matter how hard she tries. See, she's holding on to this paper. To me, this is a marriage license, or this is an agreement. She's holding on tight to that, but she knows her grip on that is loosening. See, it's her lo her grip is not tight on that. So we're coming to the end of this cycle. Things are being revealed. Um. The Hierophant showed up on the bottom. I'm not going to take it, but it, right, because that's what we're talking about, that um, this, this person, this feminine, um, her gut knows that something's not right. 
she's holding on, right? She's holding on to the institute to the institutional spirit of like we are married or we belong to we have a family and it's it's really traditional uh way of thinking she knows it's not right she needs to dare to believe that there's promise celebration for her if she can be if she can follow her instincts and be strong okay that's what that is okay okay <laughs> so these ones come flying out the Six of Swords and the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, yeah, I think she's moving on. Let's just see what this book says. Yeah. Success after trials, recovery. And the Queen of Cups. Like, right... She, I think in this, she's she's working at letting go and wondering what her plan is going to be once she leaves the masculine or once they... I mean, yesterday, the romance card talked about having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion uh, with your partner. So she's maybe thinking... She's coming to the end of this really painful cycle because there's... I've been in a relationship. My husband actually cheated on me. This guy, I'm not picking up that he's, like, cheated other than he's cheating in his heart, right? Like, he, um, but I'm just going to look up this Queen of Cups here. Just because this deck has slightly different meanings. Devoted, faithful wife, good mother and friend, wise visionary, right? So this is a good, devoted woman. She's really been through it, but, um, you know, her cycle's come to an end. She's starting to think this can be a blonde woman. Not necessarily, though. But she's starting to think, what's, what is the moon, what do I need to see under the moon? Right? I've given my whole life to this man who is disengaged from me. Her issue, I don't think, is with this third woman. It's with, why doesn't he love me? Right? But, you know what? She watches romance movies, Spirit says, and yearns for what she sees in the romance movies, and she's never really had that with this masculine. That has never really been there, right? And she says to herself, oh, no, that's just a movie. And yet she yearns for these, right, these moments. Her instinct may be telling her that outside of this relationship, there is, that that could be waiting for her. But it takes a strong woman, it takes a strong man it to, to look at, a, especially a long-term relationship, especially where there's children, and saying we need to sit down and talk because we're growing further and further apart. Um, and this isn't good for anybody. Oh, okay. And those just come flying. Three coins. So she may be concerned about money. I mean, so here's the thing, right? This masculine doesn't seem like a bad man. You know, he doesn't want to leave this situation high and dry, right? Sometimes if you can break a situation before you become enemies, that's kind of what this is talking about. Because she's looking at, at she's, Oh, it just says to reverse these. <laughs> um, that she's worried about money. She, does, she, she can get stuck in a poverty consciousness. I mean, the coins are there. She just isn't seeing them. You know, and along, 
there might be a knight of coins. I mean, she might have somebody in mind already, right? Maybe somebody from work or maybe somebody that's been expressing an interest in her. Maybe this is a man that's younger, you know, because this is a knight. And she's starting to wonder about starting over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just channeling a uh, John Lennon's song. Our life together. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put that in the description. I'm going to figure out what that song is. I'm not going to take up time in this. But um, this is like from John Lennon's last album. And, and uh, uh, two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So she's thinking about um, partnership. She's thinking about, you know, because in this, these two are probably not intimate. If they are, it's perfunctionary. Per like it's, it's, it's. I'm not thinking that they're having sex. I mean, and she's a woman too, right? Like men have needs, but I mean, women have needs too, or feminines have needs too, right? So like she's starting to think, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm not sure yet if she knows about this other woman. She's not threatened by this other woman. If she knows about this other woman, she knows... That I mean, she's not picking up that they've had an affair. She's had moments where she's wondered, okay, what's going on now with this woman that's the life partner? I was wondering if this would just come through for one or the other. Because yesterday it was all three. Mostly that one came through. I'm just going to go look. Death. It showed itself to me, but then it popped back in. So she's, she's, I mean, I'm not going to take it because I, what Spirit says is that she's thinking about the end of this, of this relationship, right? She's thinking about it, but she's vacillating back and forth. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, oh, pops. I mean, this deck is really well shuffled. Like really well shuffled, but out came four of wands. That can be eleven eleven. That can be she's she's gonna find her soulmate here. The eight of wands and the six of wands. I'm just gonna because this all seems to be there's a lot of wands here. Okay. Yeah, okay. And six. Okay, so yeah, right? Um celebration. This is the celebration tarot card. So I mean Last yesterday, remember this woman got the world. So today she's got the two of wands, which is individual success in this deck. Um, a need for independence, deciding to stay or to go, right? This can be a little bit self protective, right? Like the, in the traditional deck, this is the. Yeah, the two of wands is is like looking out, right, and seeing hmm, what do I do. But this four of wands is a possible marriage, or it's a partnership. There's a big old diamond in here, and two roses. So to me, that's romance, that's engagement, right? That's marriage. And of course, the eight of wands is always the six of wands. 
Yeah. So, I mean, this is looking good, right? Like, individual success versus codependency. So she's letting go of being dependent on this masculine. You know what? She might be deciding to go out and get a job if she hasn't worked before, right? Or she might decide, like, you know what? I'm I'm not going to plug away at Walmart or whatever anymore. I've had dreams. Maybe go to, back to school or do something interesting. She's going to meet her knight of coins there. And start over. And, uh, you know, she's going to follow her instinct and be strong. This is going to lead to celebration. You know, and now we've got good news, well-earned victory, and progress, breakthrough, events moving quickly. Also celebration, okay? I'm just going to ask Spirit for... For... A last word. Is there a last word on this? How long is this video? Only 30 minutes. The magician kind of popped out, but in a big bundle, so. Seven of coins and another strength. Okay, so she's got some decisions to make. Looks here like there's a little bit of time. Okay. Um... So, you know, she's looking ahead. She, This is the second strength card. This mountain strength, right? Mm -hmm. In my mind, in the background of this relationship between her and the masculine... It's been increasingly dissatisfied. It's been increasingly, <clears throat> you're not there. You're, there's nothing happening. We used to, you know, we used to make love twice a day, three times a day. And now we haven't made love for like two months or three months or six months or whatever. And when we do, it's just to get something done. It's not really like the passion is gone, right? Now she's starting to think. She, see, she's got some definite side eye going on here, right? She's starting to think, you know, um, maybe, maybe there's more for me. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if this is more than a movie. <laughs> you know, interestingly enough, I kind of associate this deck with masculine feminine, masculine energy. But, I mean, I'm so wrong on that. I don't know why. You know, I sleep with the decks. <laughs> Especially if I feel like I'm losing touch with them. I'll put them under my pillow and I'll sleep with them for a couple days before I use them again. You know, because sometimes you get a deck, you know, if you haven't used it for a while or whatever, and, you know, things will come out and they don't even make sense. But this has really been resonating for me, this deck, lately. And it's always been feminine. It's always come through for feminine energy, which is really interesting. Uh, maybe, maybe this feminine, she's going to be making some changes. It's going to start confusing the masculine, maybe. It's like, wait a minute. She might be going to get some tats done here, right? She might be suddenly getting her hair done different. And like, she maybe has let herself go a little bit, right? Because she's just given everything, everything, everything to this family situation. And now she's getting to be like, well, what? Oh, another ace. Oh, Ace of Wands. Boy, there's a lot of wand energy here. New beginnings. Dreams. It, it just said dreams come true. That's a lot of happiness for her. That's two wands. And that's like one, two, four, six, eight. I mean, that's a lot of wands. Oh, that one tried to slide through too. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Ha! Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, the time is, like, there's a new season coming. Things have been on a standstill, and now it's click, 
a new season. Things are changing. Um, oh, Puffs, the Knight of Wands. And isn't he? Oh, and he has a diamond on his hand. So you may have thought you wanted this, Knight of Coins. That's also a diamond. But you're ending up with this. Who's the king of ones? Oh, Spirit just says to me, you know what? You didn't really know this guy. He came to you offering. He came to you with an offer, but you had never really took him seriously. And now you're realizing, whoops, that's my actual king. Okay? Like, um, I think the lesson here is, I mean, the traditional view is you get married. It's for better or for worse. But how many times has this ended up in, in a, a, abusive situations, emotionally sterile situations, and the kids grow up thinking that, oh, and there's the two of coins on the bottom. The, the best that they can expect from life is to just get through it. You know, to just get through the fucking day. You know, staying in these relationships that have died, that weren't meant to be forever. Honestly, very few relationships, I think, are meant to be forever because people change. People grow. I think that a lot of kids grow up in feeling trauma because they've listened to their parents argue or, you know, the father's away at work and the mother's like, he never does anything around the house, you know, mumble, mumble, and just living in this unsatisfactory situation. And I mean, I'm not condoning breakups and divorce. I'm not. And, you know, if you need some serious counseling, like I've said this, I say this all the time. Definitely go get some actual serious counseling. But whoever's watching this, whether it is the, the soulmate that's sitting on standby waiting, because she's not going to break up this family, or if it's the divine masculine who's, I mean, he's in the building, but his mind has already gone over here to this woman. He's in love with this woman. But he doesn't want to hurt this or break up this. All the power, all the power in this situation belongs to this Queen of Cups. Do I stay or do I go? Am I going to release what doesn't serve me anymore either? This isn't just I need to release him for his better good. It's I need to release him for our better, for my better good and for the better good of my children. Because then they'll have a biological father that's happy. And then they'll have a second man in their life that's completely present. Okay? Again, I'm not saying anybody's bad. Just situations are changing here. So that's um, what I got for you for today. The story is quite interesting. Um, if you like what, what you see here, what you hear here, please consider subscribing. Um, I... Trying to post videos every day, especially weekdays. Um, you know, like my channel, try to share. I mean, I'm this is maybe I'm into week five now. <clears throat> so it's baby channel. I, I really appreciate the views that I'm getting. I'm actually getting way more views than I thought I would. Um, so consider liking, consider subscribing, consider sharing with your friends. Um, you know, and... Give me some love if you're, if you're feeling it. But have a wonderful day and have a wonderful life. Be brave. You know, I think that's what good advice for all of us. Just be brave.